Toyota just revealed the 2025 Toyota Camry, giving us a look at what to expect from the ninth generation of America's best-selling sedan. The Camry is now hybrid only, with no V6 option available. There are also redesigned looks, a re-engineered suspension system, and an all-new interior. Here's a full rundown of what's been changed. Subscribe to the channel and support us. We provide information about new cars. Let's continue the video. Engineered for better efficiency, this all-hybrid powertrain offers a combination of power and fuel efficiency. With impressive 225 net combined HP standard and available sport-tuned suspension, you'll be craving to take this sleek sedan out for a spin. The hybrid's available electronic on-demand all-wheel drive AWD, gives you an extra confidence boost, with 232 net combined HP to take on inclement weather or tougher roads, so you can conquer the day. The Camry enters its ninth generation with the 2025 model year, complete with a styling overhaul, a redesigned cabin, and a revised set of exclusively hybrid powertrains. Though the looks are new, Toyota confirmed to Motor One that the Camry rides on the same TNGA-K platform as before. As such, we'd consider this a major refresh, rather than an all-new vehicle. This is especially evident when you compare the side profiles, as they look nearly identical. Designers did well to differentiate the two cars in other ways though, like the new front fascia. It uses Toyota's signature hammerhead shape and thin daytime running lights, bringing it more in line with other cars in the lineup like the Crown and the Prius. Toyota also added two new color combinations to the option sheet. Toyota hasn't released pricing yet for the 2025 Camry, but given its new hybrid-only lineup, we're expecting to see the window stickers increase over last year's model. Of the four models that Toyota will offer at launch, the mid-range XLE trim will likely satisfy most buyers. It adds nice-to-have features such as larger 12.3-inch infotainment and digital gauge displays, heated front seats, leather upholstery, ambient interior lighting, and more. A duo of hybrid powertrains is available on the 2025 Camry, one powering the front wheels and one driving all four. Front-wheel drive models get a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and two electric motors that combine for 225 horsepower, while all-wheel drive ones add a third motor that drives the rear axle and increases combined output to 232 ponies. A continuously variable automatic transmission is standard with both setups. These powertrains are similar to what's found in the Toyota Prius, just with a 2.5-liter in place of the Prius's 2.0-liter 4. When we get a chance, we'll take the new Camry to our test track and update this story with test results. The 2025 Toyota Camry comes standard with a slew of new safety systems, including Toyota's Safety Sense 3.0. There's a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, full-speed dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, automatic high beams, and proactive driving assist, which uses the camera and radar to provide gentle braking and or steering to support driving tasks, such as distance control between your vehicle and a preceding vehicle, pedestrian, or bicyclist. Blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alerts also come standard on the Camry. Go for the Premium Plus package on XLE or XSE trim, and you get traffic jam assist, front cross traffic alerts, lane change assist, a panoramic view monitor, and front and rear parking assist with automatic braking. The EPA hasn't released fuel economy estimates for the 2025 Camry yet, but we expect it to earn similar ratings as last year's hybrid models. That car was rated as high as 51 MPG City and 53 MPG Highway. When we get a chance, we'll take the new Camry on our 75 MPH Highway fuel economy test route and update this story with its real-world MPG. Inside the Camry's spacious interior, there's plenty of room for adults to get comfortable in the front and back seats. The dashboard design is highlighted by a large trim piece that stretches from the passenger's side to the infotainment display. Cloth upholstery is standard, as is dual-zone automatic climate control and rear air vents. XLE and XSE models add leather upholstery, heated seats, a heated steering wheel, ambient lighting, acoustic laminated glass, 
an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, and adjustable rear-seat headrests. While the LE and SE trims get an 8.0-inch infotainment display, the XLE and XSE models come with a larger 12.3-inch unit. Either way, both screens run Toyota's latest software interface, which we've found intuitive and quick. All models come with a digitized gauge display too, but only those top two trims get the larger 12.3-inch fully digital version. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across the board and work wirelessly on all trims. A 9-speaker JBL stereo system is an optional upgrade, but likely only on Camrys with the larger 12.3-inch infotainment system. While rivals such as the Hyundai Sonata and the Kia K5 have longer warranty periods in this class, Toyota holds its own with two years of complimentary scheduled maintenance. Limited warranty covers three years or 36,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers five years or 60,000 miles. Hybrid components are covered for eight years or 100,000 miles. Complimentary maintenance is covered for two years or 25,000 miles. The next generation of the Toyota Camry will almost surely feature a new selection of powertrains. There's no doubt a hybrid setup will be among those, however. Toyota now has quite a few to choose from. Will it be the 236 HP all-wheel drive configuration that powers the Crown, or perhaps the Toyota Highlander's potent 265 HP hybrid Turbo 4? While the current Camry's base 2.5-liter four-cylinder might still be offered on lower trim levels, we don't expect the 3.5-liter V6 to carry on. It's remarkable what a few years of crushing familiarization can do to a shape that, when it landed in 2018, was shockingly sporty for a Camry. But spot a few hundred thousand of these on American roads for five years, and it becomes almost pedestrian. In profile, the outgoing Toyota Camry blends expressive body lines and lighting with an upright traditional butt and an almost blocky, conventionally sculpted hood line. It's unabashedly a three-box sedan even if it's more interesting to behold than any Camry before it. This view best highlights how similar the new Camry and the old one are underneath. Just look at the side doors and roof line. They're essentially identical between the 2024 and 2025 Camrys, a typical sign that two cars share an underlying body structure. That isn't to say Toyota hasn't hidden the recycled TNGA bones well. Despite the familiar shape, the new Camry looks sleeker in profile thanks to some clever visual trickery. The thinner taillights and the chamfered bumper corners and dipped hood and trunk lid front and rear do a lot of the heavy lifting tightening up the look. More rounded surfaces blend nicely with the still sharp body side creases, and it looks like the old Camry XSE's available two-tone paint with a blacked out roof carries over as an option on the new model as seen here. If the old Camry looks somewhat ordinary in profile, its nose is anything but. Toyota offered two basic styling packages for the last generation Camry, with the sportier SE and XSE model wearing the grill-tastic setup pictured here, and more traditionally styled LE and XLE trims wearing toned-down bumpers and wider grills without extra corner intakes. Again, shove aside familiarity and think back to 2018. It was eye-popping for a Camry, hybrid or otherwise, to have a schnoz so thoroughly covered in grill work as to make a Porsche 911 GT3 blush. Sure, most of the black plastic mesh is actually closed off, for smoother aerodynamics and let's face it, no Camry engine requires that much cooling. But the look is undeniably bold for a mid-size sedan. As before, the 2025 Camry can be outfitted with one of two separate front-end designs, again split down LE XLE and SE XSE lines. There is slightly less differentiation than before, however, with both variants wearing effectively the same basic look. Only the details change. That means both LE XLE and SE XSE versions get the large C-shaped corner vents seen on the XSE here, along with the thin upper grille slot and larger lower central intake. The corner intakes aren't as wide on the LE and XLE, however, and the sportier mesh pattern on the central grille pictured above is traded for more traditional horizontal strakes. On both, the look is cleaner and more upscale than before, with clear nods to other newer Toyota cars such as the Crown Sedan and the newest Prius Hybrid, particularly in the slim, wide headlights. We'd even go out on a limb and declare the grille treatment downright Lexus-like. It echoes the mesh fading into bumper grille designs on the latest RX and TX SUVs.